Hello and welcome to Will Watches. This is Dark, Season 3, Episode 5. So last episode, we had confirmation of a lot of things that I have been theorising. Um, the unknown being the origin. I thought the origin was the specific moment he was conceived, but they just kind of refer to him as the origin himself. And then we had um, Hanno being confirmed as Noah and then also just how the kind of family tree all connects up with all of these connections that have been confirmed now with the unknown with Agnes with Marta and Jonas and then still this kind of secretive Celia name or Silja or however it's pronounced um but it seems whoever that is is who Bartosh will eventually marry or get with and then they go on to have Noah and Agnes it seems but my like main theory on that is that it's the girl from the future and we've seen her here with Sigmundus um, Agnes is about to go into the portal the orb so I imagine you know they could send back her the girl from the future to 1888 to fulfill that you know so before we jump into this be sure to check out the patreon page over there you can get one week early access so you can get next week's video right now you can also find polls so you can vote for what's next and you can find a full length timer based version of this where you just sync up your own footage and you can watch along with me so yeah let's just jump right in okay <laughs> That looks like a bigger body as well, not a child's body. The kind of grunt sounded almost like a woman. Yeah, Claudia. Oh, is this Regina's body in the future? Mmm, okay. Life and death, and we just had that whole speech about death, okay? So Elizabeth, so Mia. Talking to Adam? Ihre Welt hat es ebenso wenig verdient. Doesn't deserve it, okay? Oh, any more than ours, okay. That, that makes a bit more sense. I noticed um, before when Claudia was burying the body, there wasn't that kind of ash and snow in the air. But she's actually there this time. Or is it another nightmare? We müssen los. Zum AKW. We have nicht viel Zeit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only a day away. Und danach bist du wie vom Erdboden verschwunden. Und wer bist du bitte schön? Yeah, I was worried with them too, like with Killian get involved, you know, he's jealous. Obviously, Jonas has taken his woman. Du wartest am Eingang. Oh yeah, yeah. Meine Mutter hat um 5 Uhr Schichtwechsel. Sie hat eine Schlüsselkarte. So she knows exactly how to get it. It's too late. Alice. We haven't seen Turnhouse in a long while, have we? Hast du jemals darüber nachgedacht, ob es möglich ist, die Zeit zurückzudrehen? No, I don't think so. He's not the type to be into time travel. Du bist groß geworden. Grown up enough to know. Has Charlotte known about time travel for a long time then? This is my son and his Frau. Oh, okay. There were two women. They had a bundle in the hand. This bundle must do. Is that Charlotte and Elizabeth delivering Charlotte? <laughs> Man hat nur die Körper meines Sohnes und seiner Frau gefunden, meine Enkelin. They never knew. Yeah, I saw the photo, I was trying to see if I recognize them, but I'm not sure if I did. Wer bin ich? Wer 
sacrifice us nicht. It takes all of those years to finally find out. Charlotte. Ein Kollege hat mich reingelassen. Ich habe noch ein paar Fragen zu dem toten Jungen im Bunker. Ich hoffe, das ist in Ordnung. You've got to destroy her somehow. <laughs> It's part of the agreement. Oh, look at this camera work. Yeah, someone's here. They didn't um, do the world transition there, I noticed, but this is pretty obviously the other one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is like her both in the same like range, time range, though, isn't it? Hello, Claudia. That one seems slightly younger, but that means that the other Claudia would remember that moment. And obviously she's very shocked, but it might just be The other one is her from the future, but just she's had a bit time to make it, tell herself up, you know, <laughs> make herself look better. Oh, and they're operating out of Bernadette's camper van. We've seen that before. I just don't know why I didn't make that connection. Yeah, we've seen that they're in like a camper van. We yeah. have. Yeah. He's holding on hope, but is it a bit delusional? Yeah, the reason there wasn't any ash in the air at the start of the episode was because it's 2020, not 2054, and the ash doesn't develop till then, I guess. It's because both of those are post apocalypse now, you know? Licht und Schatten. Ich will, dass du dich unserer Seite anschließt. Evas Seite. Oh, is she the Claudia from World 2? Aber alle Impulse auf seinem Weg werden ihn dorthin leiten. Aber Eva will beide Welten retten. No, that's a manipulation. Eva just wants to save one. Jonas hat gesagt, wir können es ändern. Wir ändern eine Komponente und damit die ganze Welt. Das hast du ihm gesagt. Yeah, that's your manipulation from the future. Cesium erneut in den Tunnel gebracht, bevor es komplett zerfallen ist. Okay. Potenziert sich bis ins Unendliche. And that's what causes... Alles in dieser Schleife wiederholt sich. Leben... und Tod. <laughs> okay. So there's the residue left and that's what connects them all and creates the paths between them. Was genau ist in diesen Fässern? But if they stop the apocalypse here, then that won't, those won't be there. Oh, oh. is it just that? That's how she gets the cut. Yeah, it's, that's just that small one, not the huge scar. Ist nicht schlimm, ist nur ein kleiner Kratzer. Is he seeing things aren't changing then? Sie wollte es ändern. Aber wenn du zu ihr wirst, dann bleibt alles gleich. Ja. Yeah. Wenn ich verhindern kann, dass die Fässer geöffnet werden, wenn es eine Möglichkeit gibt, es alles zu stoppen. Und wenn es das ist, was sie will, dass alles genauso wieder passiert? Yeah, it's always just the, this endless cycle. Vielleicht sind wir es, die es überhaupt auslöst. Yeah, he doesn't want to cause. That paradox again, where it's, you're the one who causes it, is so traumatized by that with Mikhail. Jonas. Is she gonna do it anyway? Brauchst du eine extra Einladung oder was? Mit oder nicht? Is she running away? Okay, no. Oh, wow! Wenn ich von hier laufe, wie lange brauche ich das? Peter! That looks so much like him! Meine Mutter ist gestorben. Mein Vater lebt hier. Bis vor ein paar Tagen habe ich nicht mal gewusst, wer mein Vater ist. Oh, really? Will we find out who his mother is? Is it someone important? An dem Tag, als Mats verschwunden ist, hatte Helge Dienst im AKW. Seine Schicht war um 18 Uhr zu Ende, Mats ist gegen 18.21 Uhr verschwunden. Why the forest road? Wort <laughs> von zwei Jungen beteiligt. 
immer noch vermisst. <lacht> Ulrich hat recht. Ulrich. Sie guckt an. Yeah, I didn't like that framing. It felt like someone would be in there. Oh! I was trying to see if I recognize that guy. We know something happens to her eye eventually. This isn't what leads up to that. Obviously, she couldn't hear anything of what he was saying. And she can't sign. Where's Peter? I thought Peter was following close. I don't, he was like, don't be afraid. And now he's feeding her, but then he also bashes her head into the door, you know? Noah anywhere about? Because I know Noah was following them for a bit. Would he swoop in and save her? Mm. Yeah, I didn't like where this was going. Yeah, okay, it's Peter. Is Charlotte gonna be the one that ki Charlotte Elizabeth gonna be the one that kills him? Oh, there was a knife there on the table, it looks. Oh no! We haven't seen Peter any older, have we? Someone's got to kill this dude as well. I thought it'd be Peter. <laughs> I guess. Noah protects her from now on for a bit, or does she just fend for herself? Still nothing with the eye, though. She's here with Adam, too. Es ist Zeit. Who is that? Du musst sie gehen lassen, Franziska. Oh, okay. Yeah, they kept her identity hidden all of this time for some reason, but it so obviously was, wasn't it? These moments where, you know, we're getting these different characters walking in and put, walking into this room with the suits, it feels like sacrifices or deaths to come, you know? Du musst sie führen. Jonas, Noah, Elisabeth. So is this book a bit of a bootstrap paradox? Because she gets it from the unknown and the unknown gets it from the older Claudia. Jonas, du wirst ihn leiten müssen und dich später gegen ihn stellen. So really, it was Eva manipulating Claudio, who was manipulating Jonas this whole time. But that was like a cleaner, less distressed version of the book. Was that we were seeing the unknown, like copying the book over or something? Because we saw him write in it, didn't we? Wenn es nur eine Welt geben kann. I've noticed the camera work a lot this episode. We've got the spinning shot here. And there's, there's been a lot more like handheld shots, it feels like. Things are getting desperate in a way. Hmm. <clears throat> it's Marta, but it's not the same Marta he knows. I wanted that all He just wants the simplicity the way it used to be. 
Met summer by the lake when everything was perfect. Yes, yes, Fasha. It's not like it's always mirroring like before when they had that kiss and he let her down, but this time she actually knows why it's wrong. He's not keeping her in the dark. Was that episode eight or episode nine of season one? Is she just going to steal the card off her? I thought she'd just be sneaky. But, <laughs> okay. Take it by force. <laughs> Doesn't end up killing her own mother, does she? Mama lost us! Because we never see her mum in the future. Yeah, it feels like something's going to happen here. Oh, the rock mirroring Ulrich. It was it all for nothing? Is the key card not even there? But she didn't get rid of her. Oh, I think was, we see that hand in the opening. We see her hand there with it in that. Wow. We've lost so many big characters this episode. Peter and now Katerina. So it's the other way round. Oh, she's going to just chuck the body in. Oh! Wasn't there a myth about the woman of the lake or something when they were playing in the lake before i can't remember the exact exactly what they said there's like a spirit in the lake or there were bodies in the lake yeah and your mum was actually here and is dead so they're finally back from their like witness protection thing so it almost wouldn't have worked out if she had got Ulrich out and then tried to get Mikkel away because Mikkel wouldn't have been here. It was only today that he was back. Oh, because that ties her to the crime scene. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cause they left it behind. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that lovely name. So it was confirmed that that abortion didn't work and she didn't get rid of her. But she was so young when she went to see Miss Ovendorf before. Is that a bit of a projection, calling her own daughter a slut like that? But, like, if she was so young back then, obviously... I don't obviously it wasn't on purpose, but I was wondering who the father was. Was it all consensual, you know? And he never gets picked up, yeah. That Peter casting is so good. That could easily be like someone related, you know? Hmm. Yeah, of course. Noah comes along and finds her and protects her from now. Oh, okay. Agnes, Hanno, Bartosz, Silja, yeah. Inez and Daniel connected. Sisters here. No, you're standing at swap places. <laughs> Closing the door behind you, very ominous. Ein Mensch lebt drei Leben. Okay. Das erste endet mit dem Verlust. Okay, loss of innocence, yeah. Das zweite mit dem Verlust der Unschuld. Oh, okay, naivety then is innocence. Und das dritte mit dem Verlust des Lebens selbst. Everyone leaves three lives and we always see the three time points. 
Jonas the Stranger Adam. Hier und jetzt. Was? Okay, I thought it would be the unknown. Wozu du in diese Welt geschickt wurdest? Wir haben nicht erledigt. Sie hat gesagt, dass wir die Apokalypse stoppen müssen. Or is it just setting Marta up for this? <laughs> Very fresh scar. She's not going to be the one to give it to herself right now. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All three of them there. There's no way Jonas goes out here, but what happens? I mean, we were seeing so much the mirroring between Marta and Jonas. It was an older Jonas that killed Marta in his world, and it's an older Marta that kills Jonas in her world. I mean, there must be some way he survives or that he is even brought back. I was just seeing everyone. Helga, someone Schmidt is Peter's father, or Peter's mother, sorry. Okay, so there we have Dark, episode five of season three, A Life and Death, what an apt title. We lost quite a few big name characters this episode. Jonas, Katerina, and Peter. For me, it felt like Peter's hit the hardest, just because obviously the whole situation surrounding his death was just horrible. But then also him as a character, he's been quite like, I would say innocent, but like, I mean, he's been quite good. Like he has been this sense of good, like, although he, there were parts where he was keeping secrets, he's always tried to do good and him as a therapist as well. Um, he's always been trying to do good, trying to keep hopeful as well as we see, you know, he's still hopeful maybe it's a bit delusional but he's still hopeful that all of these people are still alive so we lose him there and then Jonas is one I I don't know how to feel about that he's the main character he's not gonna be permanently dead he's not gonna be in these last three episodes of the show you know he's still gonna be here but I don't know it could be the case that this Jonas is actually dead, this one we've been following this whole time, but I'm not sure because there could be ways to bring him back, you know, that's been a big theme this episode as well with what Charlotte was saying to Tanhouse before, is there a way to bring someone back, you get them before they actually die, so there could be some way to save him here and it feels like he will be saved because you can't, you know, maybe we'll go next episode without seeing that version of Jonas at all, but you can't not have him in the finale, right? That can't be a permanent thing. So that death didn't quite hit as hard because, you know, there's all this plot armor really around him. And then Katarina's one, that one was just more shocking than anything really, because we think it's gonna go the other way and it's gonna be her killing Helen, her mother, um, and then the way that mirrors Ulrich attacking Helga back in 53 as well. But it actually goes the other way and Helen gets the upper hand, chucks her in the lake. And that's how that myth of the lake woman comes about as well, I assume. Um, but then, you know, I'm wondering what's going on with that because we have the necklace being left behind um does that backlash on helen obviously you know we see helen here i don't know how old she is she must be at some point in her 40s but we never see her when she's much older than that so what happens to her like we never see her in the 2019 2020 timeline so does something happen to her is she caught and imprisoned and then dies in prison or does she just die some you know it could be anything she could die very soon or she could die 
anywhere in these 33 years leading up to 2019, you know? But it feels like the necklace being left, the St. Christopher necklace, that's going to play an important role there, either in her getting caught, or of course it needs to somewhere along the lines end up in someone else's hands because it plays such a bigger part later on with um Jonas and Marta and everyone I don't think that's like the end of it in its timeline you know so at the start we had the burial of Regina um I did mention you know there wasn't any of the ash in the background and I think that's because what we had seen there was 2020 and it's 2053 we see where it has all the ash and the like the mutations on the trees so that is still things to come it's actually a little bit confusing between 2020 and 2053 now because they are so similar because they are both post-apocalyptic they both have very similar design language you know before when we see something post-apocalyptic we're like oh that's 2053 so that's still like the mind frame my brain is in though i, I see the post-apocalyptic and i think 2053 even though it's only 2020 that we're seeing a lot of these events happening in with peter and elizabeth here and then in 2020 we are seeing claudia you know she buries the body but then she's approached by herself you know for a moment i thought it was herself from different somewhere else time wise but it's from world two which is very cool so we have confirmation of her in world two and i couldn't quite see i think she they both did have the heterochromia still i, I was looking out for that um, but it was really dark in that scene so it is hard to notice but it did look like they both still had the heterochromia but anyway they um you know have this conversation claudia from world two from martyr's world is instructing claudia from world one from our world from jonas's world on what to do um you know there's so many things in this show where it's just a character setting another character on a specific path that we've already seen them on later in their life you know and we're seeing that again so it's claudia from world two influencing our claudia from world one telling her exactly what to do and because that's the best outcome for them you know and we see again the what do they call it the triketa book um claudia's book and you know we did see um last episode it being written by the unknown so he i don't know if he wrote the whole thing or if he just like copied the other version that claudia had the old claudia so it's kind of like a bootstrap paradox because sigmundus did have the completed version because noah got all of those final pages and this book kind of has all of the secrets revealed you know um but he was the one who wrote it or at least like copied it and maybe it's a bit of a bootstrap paradox that he just copies the older version into a newer book and then that newer book eventually becomes that older version so the knowledge contained within the book doesn't actually have an origin you know so then again in 2020 peter's death um the whole situation surrounding that you know there's that guy in their camper van um at first he was just after some food and he seemed almost i don't know how to describe it where he not that he has two personalities but you know he was kind a bit saying oh don't worry i won't hurt you then immediately slams her into the door then is like try to feed her and of course what he tries after that um it's all there's like scenes like that where you know it's can I, you, you can sense it like you know it's coming but it's just you don't want it to be true you know i saw it coming from a mile away but i just you don't want to say anything to jinx it or you, there's just that like sense of unease in some scenes like that and you know it's coming but yeah he tries that and peter luckily comes in at the right time before anything can happen obviously i have to watch my words a bit here because of youtube in terms of service and things peter does get in before anything can happen 
but in the process gets himself stabbed in the neck. I thought Peter would be the one to kill the guy. I was really hoping just for a heroic moment for him. So he'd just come in and be like, yes, thank God he's killed this guy. But no, Peter gets stabbed himself and it's actually Elizabeth that kills him, which maybe is a bit more cathartic for Elizabeth, um, her, the one getting the revenge. But I don't think it matters really. It's just... I'm glad Elizabeth was okay and safe from that, you know. But now she has to fend for herself a little bit, but Noah comes along, you know, we know Noah, he protects her a bit, and obviously they eventually have Charlotte. So Noah comes along, we see in the montage, and he's going to look after her for a bit, because I don't know how old she is, like 12, 13, but to fend for yourself, especially in this type of environment at that young an age, is going to be either impossible or extremely difficult. I did think maybe it would be Noah who came in and saved her, but yeah, it was Peter, and I'm, I'm glad it was Peter, but obviously, yeah, Peter's death there really hit me. Um, with Charlotte, we see younger version of Charlotte talking to Tan House. Um, you know, she's talking about can you bring people back from the death, which was a big theme of this episode. But then she learns about her history. Um, we see Tan House's kids. I was trying to like analyze that photo. I was like, do I recognize any of them? But I don't think I do. Um, so Tan House lost his kids and maybe lost his granddaughter. And then Charlotte came along kind of as a replacement. And he said two women delivered her to him. So I am assuming that is Charlotte and Elizabeth. Because um, we we do see with Sigmundus in 2020, you know, it's Francesca, um, Charlotte and Elizabeth. They're all hugging and then Charlotte and Elizabeth go into the suits. So I'm assuming that's what they're doing there. Um... Is that the end of Charlotte and Elizabeth, though, after that? Because, you know, that hug, it feels like a big goodbye, and we never see Charlotte or Elizabeth in 86, or it is before 86 that she's delivered, because we see, you know, the Charlotte in 86 is a bit older. She's not a baby. She had to have been raised by Tanhouse a little bit there. But we're seeing all of these missions that the people of Sigmundus are being sent on, you know, and there's always like these goodbye hugs beforehand. And I'm like, are these deaths? Or is it they're fulfilling their like final part of their mission, you know? And after this, there's no need for them to come back. So then they know they might die or they won't see each other again. I can't imagine Charlotte and Elizabeth say they go back to um, 1980 or something. I can't imagine them, you know, they don't immediately die after unless they do. They like S-word themselves. Again, YouTube guidelines, they S-word themselves not to be like caught in anything else because they know that's like their destiny, you know? This episode was just a really great episode in general. Um, then, like, towards the end, we have all of the stuff of Marta. We have all three versions of her, and then the fourth version, which is this, like, younger, ver even younger version in yellow, where all the others are, like, wearing black and dark and dim colours. Um, the one we've seen, she has the very fresh scar. I don't think we saw the origin of that scar. Maybe we will in the next few episodes once, like, the martyr we've been, Jonas has been following along with has, um, you know, when she, we follow along with her a little bit more. Of course, what it seems like is happening here is they said Jonas has fulfilled his role because he has put her on this path, you know? He's shown her that the time travel is real, that these other worlds are real, and they've, you know, conceived the origin, they've conceived the not, they've conceived the unknown. So I feel like that's that was his whole purpose here, and now that he is, he's gone, and then we'll see that version of Marta that we've been following with the most, will then go, you know, it's that loop. She'll go into World 1, get the Jonas, bring him into World 2, and that whole thing happens again. So it could be the case that 
that happens again, but that version of Jonas somehow doesn't die. So we are actually losing this Jonas we've been following, but it's like a we will then follow a Jonas. It's the same Jonas just before all of these events from um, this season, from the end of season two up until now. We've lost that bit of time and then that Jonas will come in and maybe the Martyr won't kill him so then we can still follow Jonas along. I don't know. <laughs> that will be a way to save Jonas, I guess. So yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, consider leaving a like or a comment. And if you really loved it, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all the future uploads. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.